Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about Tiago Moises vs. Ludovic Klein. Tiago Moises, 18 wins, 7 losses, 3-2 and two in his last 5 fights, 3-1 and one in his last 4. Still 29 years old, which seems kind of nuts. 5'9 with a 70 and a half inch reach. Fighting Ludovic Klein, who's 21 wins, 4 losses, 1 draw. He's 4-0-1 in one his last 5 fights, getting that draw against Jai Herbert. Which is nuts to think that he got a draw with Jai Herbert. 29 years old as well. One month older than, exactly one month older than uh, Tiago Moises. 5'7 with a 72 and a half inch reach. Two, and a half, two inch reach advantage for Ludovic Klein. This is an interesting one. Because you have Tiago Moises who has gotten better in the stand-up but he is a grappler. You have Ludovic Klein who is a very, very good stand-up fighter but he's gotten great on the ground. So... Uh, it's it's one of those things where Tiago Moises has shown to be broken. The only time Klein has broke was when, uh, uh, what's his name? Oh, man. Landwehr. Nate Landwehr. Nate the Train finished him. I believe on short notice, since that fight, he has looked absolutely awesome. You know, he has quite a bit of first-round finishes, 10 first round finishes has been finished once by punches a long time ago uh it doesn't even say that but finished by nate landwehr lost to michael trezano which again crazy if you know that crazy um de 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 uh, defeated Devante smith and didn't look great in that one fought mason jones looked awesome in that match mason jones is very good probably see him back in the ufc fought jai herbert went to a majority uh, draw Fought Ignacio Baja Mendez. Looked okay, but it was the AJ Cunningham fight, which I understand AJ Cunningham isn't great. He's a bit of a punching bag, but he, he has tend to be um, always there to be willing to fight, even though he, if he's hurt, you know, but it's a bad matchup for AJ Cunningham. That was a pretty easy one to be like, yeah, Ludovic Klein is going to finish him. Don't know if it's going to be by submission, hurting him and submitting him, or just finishing him by punches. Ended up being a front kick to the body. He was getting lit up before that. Again, very short notice for AJ Cunningham. The one thing that does make me a little uh, worrisome in this one, uh, he has 12 finishes. He has four f finishes in the first round. Has uh, six finishes in the second, five second round submissions. He also has one in the third. Now, he's been finished three out of seven times in his career. Uh, seven losses. Been finished three times. He's been finished uh, one time in the first round. I think it was Joel Alvarez who finished him in the first. Yeah, destroyed him after the Islam Makachev fight. Which he did last until the fourth round. Mid-fourth round. It, it's, it's a very interesting one because I think... Tiago Moises has fought better competition, like uh, Islam Makachev, Bobby Green, Benoit Saint-Denis, uh, Miguel Costa is pretty good. I just think Moises has fought better competition. Typically, that means a lot. I think Ludovic Klein, I trust his cardio more because I think at some point he can break. He can make Moises make a bad decision. I like Ludovic Klein. I think he gets the job done, and as always... Peace.